Recently I watched a couple live streams by the Maritime Girl in which she used her vintage Epson PC with a modem to dial some Bolton board systems. And that made me realize I have this Tandy 1000 SX computer which still has its original Tandy internal modem which I've never tried and in fact I considered removing it because I thought I would never have a use for it but since there are some BBS's still in operation which you can dial using a modem on a vintage computer like this I thought why not give it a try and here is that original Tandy modem installed in the computer it's kinda of hard to read the sticker but it says Tandy 2400 BPS half card modem and list the catalog number and there's the two phone jacks it doesn't say which is which but one is going to be for connecting to the phone line and the other is for connecting your telephone and there's a switch for COM1 or COM2 now this computer does not have a built-in serial port so I can use COM1 so let's turn on the computer and give it a try I installed a copy of Bananacom, which is a popular terminal program for DOS. It's from 1998, which is rather late for a DOS program. And it's freeware. And if we do the command find modem, it passed the hardware test. It found the modem on COM1. It says the speed is 9600 bits per second. That's just the speed communicating between the modem and the computer. It's not the speed that the modem can communicate with other computers through the telephone line. That's only 2400 bits per second. But the modem is working. It's responding to an AT command. I wrote down a list of numbers to try. First one I'm going to try is the NIST time server which is in Colorado. The command to dial using touch tone is ATDT and then you type in the number 13034944774 You can hear the modem's built-in speaker and it connected at 2400 bits per second and there it goes National Institute of Standards and Technology Telephone Time Service and it's showing the current time in UTC which is Greenwich Mean Time so right now in England it's 51 minutes past midnight and it said enter the question mark character for help so I'll do that and there it goes giving a description of the data it provides I don't know why it kind of starts and stops like that and it automatically hangs up after a, about a minute or so so that number works next on the list to try is the borderline BBS which runs on a Commodore 64 and there's the number ATDT Connected at 2400 bits per second. Well, it has a list of 
borderline BBS and cottonwood BBS. I'll try the borderline BBS. Well, it said press return slash enter to continue, but then it already says connecting without me needing to press return. I'll press return anyway. See if it works. There it goes. Are you using a Commodore Color Graphics Terminal program? No. Last caller was Radio Nomad. Okay, press return if new user. Please fill out the following application honestly. Okay, I'm going to make up a name here. I'll use my real first name, but a fake last name. Phone number. Well, I'll have to, again, make it up a little bit. What handle do you use? V Westlife. What password to log in? Well, I'll make up something here. Oh, I didn't think it would just put it in plain text. What is your age? Can I do negative one? <laughs> is that going to crash the system? Where are you calling from? New Jersey, USA. Well, I didn't type the dollar sign in backslash. There must be some corruption on my line here. Because I'm using Verizon Fios. What? I can't type a comma? I'm using Verizon Fios, so it's just... It's kind of like voice over IP, except a little bit higher quality. What is my email address? Nobody at no one dot com. Okay, yes. Please save this information. You will need it to log on again. I wonder if it's actually using a floppy disk on that Commodore 64 it's running on. That would explain why it's taking so long. Your user ID is 79. Write it down. Well, even better, I got it on video. You can call four more times today. You have one hour and 30 minutes for this call. Well, I'm not going to take that long. Searching for mail. No mail today. You will not have access to online games and file transfer sections until your account has been validated. Main menu. I have no idea what those letters mean, so I'll type a question mark. Can I just leave a message? Feedback to the sysop, I'll do that. Use your... I didn't type a previous message. Max 50 lines, okay. Hello. From the West Life. Trying out my Candy 1000 internal modem 2400 BPS making a YouTube video on my channel. Thanks. 
Hit return on a blank line to exit. Okay. Uh. I don't know. What? It hung up on me. Well, I hope he got that message anyway. Next on the list is the Sursum Corda BBS, which is running on OS2. So I'll try that. ATDT 1256 895 4786. Twenty four hundred BPS. No carrier. Well, it, it connected and then it just gave up. All right, I'll move on to the next one, the Diamond Mind BBS, and the instructions said to enter a username and password of D Mine. So I'll try that. ATDT one five four zero three seven zero. 9140 Connected Okay well, it told me to enter a user ID and password of DMINE, so that's what I'll do. Detecting terminal animation. ANSI. Okay, this is the first one so far that uses ANSI, which gives you colors. Uh, I guess A. It's running on Windows. And there you can see the graph, well it's not really graphics, it's just the upper ASCII characters and colors. Enter user name or number or new or guest. Well, I'll do guest. Ah! It's doing that garbage stuff again. Unknown user. Well I tried to type it. All right, let me try to get that in without garbage characters. Mouse reporting? I don't think so. Yes, we're already seeing those. That's neat, it's like an animation. Uh, for our records, enter your full name. I'll use my assumed name again. email address location new where did you hear about this I well I just looked it up on Google Doing those ANSI graphics and colors makes it slow down compared to plain text. The last few colors were Dr. What and two guests. Read your mail now, yes. I don't think I have any mail. What? This is a test mail. Okay. There's the main menu. Note to Sysop. We'll try leaving a note on this one. Subject. Well, from V West Left. No, I am 
trying out my Tandy 1000 vintage PC with uh, 2400 ah, garbage characters. 2400 BPS internal modem. So far, so good. Making a YouTube video for my channel, the Westlake. Thanks. Okay, slash s to save. All right, email sent to Diamond Dave number one. List of users, let's see that. 308 total users. If you've called this BBS and your name is on this list, leave a comment. A couple people from Brazil and Australia, Ontario, England, Austria. Switzerland Greece or Gresse India Someone else from New Jersey Diagnostic Scotland, Quebec, Florianapolis, never heard of that, Argentina, Turkey, so I have quite an international following. Sorry if I didn't make it far enough to see your name on the list, but at 2400 BPS it's going to take a while. All right, I think we're done with this one, so I'll type G for goodbye. Hit a key. All right, disconnect. And click, it's disconnected. So aside from that one BBS which hung up on us as soon as we connected, and a couple of those garbage characters that showed up. I think it was a successful test of this modem. Certainly 2400 BPS is not that fast, but for just plain text it's okay because it's not going any slower than what you can read. And mostly I just wanted to try out calling real BBS's on real phone numbers, which is something I haven't really done in over 20 years. So it's nice that there's still some of these VBSs out there that you can dial and some of them are even running on vintage hardware like this one which is running on a Commodore 64. So that's it for this video. If you want to learn more about how modems work and all about the history of BBSs, I'm sure there are other videos and other websites which could explain it much better than I can. So feel free to look that up on your own time. But for now, I'm just going to Turn off the old Tandy 1000 and thanks for watching.